I personally used to care what people thought of us. That went away. Because you're not going to please everybody. You take your biggest fans and run with them. I think people look at you for what you have set and what you have done and think that it's unrealistic. But it all goes back to how bad you want it to happen and how much you want to make it happen. We are a first generation family farm business. I wanted to be a part of it from the ground up, from the soil all the way to the finished product of the livestock that we sell. This sure isn't a get rich quick business. At 920, we are a complete farm to table operation. So we have a banker at one branch who sees three accounts and we went into the bank to make a deposit and he said, oh no, this can't go on this account, it's gonna have to go on this account because this account is overdrawn. It's not the same business revenue. It doesn't belong in that account. There is money coming in, in fact, later that day that would have gone into that account. <coughs> and so uh, he proceeds to then lecture me on how to run a business. And I just sat back and I just listened and I empathized and I tried to understand his perspective, which I do. Like, you know, I understand he is a banker and there are factors that he's being evaluated on with overdrawn accounts or whatnot. Um, but the difference I think for me is it was not a conversation about what's happening in your world, what's affecting this, what's leading to this, what are the other outliers, what are the other things happening. It was you're making terrible decisions, you're making terrible judgments, you're not doing business right, you're just, you're just falling uh, down the drain, I think is what he said. <laughs> And so I just, you know, and again, he, he says, I'm not here to lecture you, honey. I'm not here to lecture you, honey, but I've seen this, I've seen this for 30 years now. Mind you, he doesn't see all of the other segments of business and all of the, you know, all of the other pieces that are happening that are growing and scaling. He just sees what he's pervy to, which is, again, fine and... That's his perception. So again, it goes back to understanding what they see and how they're perceiving it relative to what we know to be true and what we know to be right and fair and just. The big picture. So yeah, we got a bazillion things going on. We're here, we're there, we're everywhere. No, we didn't say that to brag upon what we're doing and everything that we have going on. But by telling you that and explaining to you how we can handle the hearsay, the this, the that, the folks telling us, you know, that we maybe are doing too much or we maybe are doing this. We've learned to be able to give them grace. We've learned to be able to give them time. We've learned to be able to accept and understand that they don't see the full picture. They don't see the full scope. But there's a lot of hours in a day and we utilize every minute of it. And I also think we hold strong the ideal that nobody will believe in you as much as you believe in you. And it's hard and it's tough. And some days I just want to sit in the fetal position and cry. And that's okay too. But just to be reminded that if you are living with a sense of purpose and belief, then that's what you need to carry through and not that's be right. weighed down by the negative or the misperceptions or misunderstandings. That's right. I think, honestly, the only true person that knows what's going on in a person's life is that actual person whether it's business, personal, the whole road, um, that person is the only one privy to what is going on in all aspects of every business and every side of his personal life. And that's very important to keep in mind when you are talking and having conversations with anyone. 
I think a lot of times people are quick to judge because they don't have the full understanding of what's going on. And understandably so, the only person that knows you like you is you. And I think for us, we've learned over time that a lot of it is rooted in the other individual's fear for you or about you. It is not specifically you or your inability to do something. I think a lot of times it is just a lack of understanding. And in some cases it might be a lack of empathy or concern or they may not have an interest in better understanding. But there are some, hopefully, there are some of those people in your lives that do love and care for and want to understand but just don't have the context or the history or the perspective to know you as well as you do. Um, and with that though, I think that then requires a high level of grace on your part to extend to them uh, because in their perceptions and in their judgment, it will undoubtedly come back different than how you intend it to be. Um, but I think we're called to offer grace because again, they don't know you like you know you, and that's of no fault of their own. So we're in this together. Win, lose, or draw. We're in it together. And we're here for that. And we'll make it for many, many years. And we will hopefully bring a lot of people along with us and build each other up and build our team up and build our community up and raise our little girl in a way that she will want to do the same one day. Will you dance with me? Gentle on the equipment. <laughs> he said he wanted like. Oh, you yeah. ruined yeah. your hat yeah. and the microphone. You want to check that? Will you check this?